This play is about many things. It's about identity, it's about a sense of belonging. It's about being uncertain as to where you fit uh, and being a bit of a jigsaw puzzle and trying to piece yourself together. A young woman who comes from a multiracial background. Her father's from Brunei, her mother's from Britain. She meets her father for the first time when she's 10 and subsequently she only meets him one more time when she's 30. You've done a good job. I don't need validation. I know I've done a good job. I think Kalila struggles with her own identity. She just wants to know all about her culture. She doesn't feel like she knows anything about her father. Absent father. Yes, absent father, but he is my father. I should be allowed to talk to him and connect with him. So it's about finding themselves. Coming of age in some way, it's about uh, we're living in two worlds, uh, mixed heritage, and the effect that one decision has on so many people. She accused me of wearing a hijab for my father's sake. What did you say? I said I wear it because it gives me a sense of identity. Someone called you a terrorist on the street. Someone told me to go back home before I wore the hijab. I think Silently Hoping is a gripping drama. Uh, there are funny moments, there are very tense moments. We've never needed them before! Charlotte, your dad is dead! Mine isn't! He's in London! That's a completely different situation! But it's also a play about relationships. Different relationships, like a mother and a daughter relationship, a father and a daughter relationship, two sisters that have diverged and then come back together. It's a play about how we crash into one another in this city, in a globalised city. So it's like, when you're on the same thing for like ages, yeah? And then one day you look at it, and it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like them crepes you used to own for like ages and you hate them. Then all of a sudden you was like wearing them all the time. Are you calling me an old pair of shoes? Silently Hoping is a story about culture and identity, but it's also a London story. It's a British story, and it's a British story that doesn't get told enough. You know, there are East Asian characters in this, there are black Nigerian British characters in this, there are Southeast Asian characters in this, there are British Muslims in this, and, and they don't stick to the stereotypical ideas that we have about them. So I hope that this play challenges the pervasive uh, and pretty damaging stereotypes that we have in mainstream media.